Hi friends, you are welcome to Automation World channel. Before starting this, let me inform you that in this channel, you can find useful videos related to automation anywhere RPA platform. If you are a first time visitor, please subscribe this channel and also hit bell icon to get notification of newly added videos. So let's start our video. Today we will learn about send email action of email package. Here we will see different options which RPA provide to send mail. So let's create a bot first. We'll click on this create bot icon and let's name our bot as send demo. We will search for email package here and inside email package we can see that send action is here. So we will double click on this and we have got and here if we will drag down we can see that this RPA platform provides three different ways to send mails that is email server, outlook and EW server. Email server for email server and EW server, we do not need, need any applications to install in our local system. But for Outlook client, this interacts with locally installed Outlook client for this Outlook type of server. And here we have our Outlook client user. So we will come to each option one by one. So let's start first with the email server. So for email server, we have to provide here the information we have to send. So suppose I want to send mail to one of my users and its name is we deserve all at the rate yahoo.com. That's fine. And suppose I want to, uh, in, in case uh, we want to uh, CC also. So here I'm using this user as CC candidate and its name is Outlook user, Outlook user 0910 at the rate gmail.com. That's fine. And subject is for IMAP Gmail demo. send IMAP, send SMTP, we are using here SMTP, so send SMTP Gmail demo and we are attaching a locally file also. So suppose I want to attach this file, table XLS, so let's copy, let's copy this path and we'll provide here, that's fine. So we provided two CCC, we can also provide BCC, we will verify that with other fields we provide our gym uh, our subject also attached and this one this uh, validate if attachment is missing it is a boolean value this it works to verify whether the provided attached file path is valid or not so if it's valid it will find if it's not valid and we have checked it out then it will fail showing that we cannot send file we cannot send mail because the required file is not attached. So for now, we are not checking this. So if we are not checking this, even if there is no path, file is not there at locations, it will send mail. That's fine. And here I am, uh, I am using plain text. So in plain text, just I am using this is a demo, it's a demo mail for email server SMTP test fine here we have selected send email and our sender here our sender is uh, we deserve all at the rate gmail.com that's my our sender and our gmail host is let's search here so gmail server smtp settings here we can get all informations which is required to send mail through Gmail. So this is our uh, server IP or host name and port is 587 is required. So let's click on this, our server host and port is 587, that's fine. 
this Gmail server is a secure one so we will have to select this option secure and here authentication requires correct and this is our our username again here so this here our username username is here and password is password is since my here is my gmail sender sender yes this is my sender ip and this sender ip is uh, a two step verification is enabled so we cannot use a normal password which is being used to open or log into gmail server we need a app password and already I have created my app password and it's here so that's fine so it will it will send mail so let's let's see running this bot it should send mail to we deserve all yahoo.com and here we have already opened this this user so mail should come here and also yes so mail should come here and it then for ccc we can verify from this it will also receive mail and that's fine so let me delete this one that's fine let's run our bot our bot runs successfully and we should be able to see emails here yahoo.com yahoo has not received and here we have got in our cc candidate it has received outlook user 90910 has received mails with attachments mm -hmm. well yes we also received mail at uh, yahoo.com also here we can see with attachments that's fine so for email server we have seen that attaching it's working with attachments also now let's so for gmail server we have verified let's go for yahoo type of server so here i am just reverting here our two candidate will be gmail at dot com and again instead of ccc i am i am giving as bcc candidate here to outlook user and uh, and yes here attachments is there so we can now change attachment type instead of instead of some outlook server let's give this we'll send this time uh, and csv file so let's copy this csv file and here is our attachments that's fine and uh, yeah that's fine now we are sending to different user we are this time we are using yahoo as a yahoo account as a server so we'll have to find here yahoo server smtp settings also so here we should get yes here yahoo informations we are able to see so this will be used as host name so our host name is changed and 465 is our port yes 465 is our port and this one is replaced with yahoo yeah we deserve all at the rate yahoo.com and also here yahoo.com and again password again for yahoo they provide only options to use to use app password for third party application and here our rpa tool is a third party application for yahoo server so for this also we have to use app password and here already i've created an app password so let's use it here so this time what it will do we are sending using we deserve all at the red yahoo.com and here receivers are we deserve all at the red gmail.com and outlook user 0910 at the red gmail.com so let's run our bot and see so our bot runs successfully here again and let's verify 
whether we have received or not. Mm, let's refresh. Yes, we have got our mail here for Gmail. Again, sender is here. We can see it's uh, it's Yahoo. It's Yahoo. And uh, whether we, we have received our mails in Gmail also. So let's come here and let's refresh this. Yes, for Gmail also we have received our our uh, our mail with uh, with attachments. That's fine. So so yes, we have verified our mail for email server is working fine. Now let's disable this action, and now we will verify for other available options. So here we have other option as EWS server. So for EWS server, we have to provide your username, password, and also a domain name. So here I have a user named Office 365 Pro Dev. So what here we are doing, we find and also have to create a password. So let me create a password for this. I have created password for this user uh, office pro test and uh, domain name is optional it's not required to update this and uh, exchange service 2010 there are five different exchange services are provided and supported by RPA platform and we are verifying for suppose 2013 the latest one and uh, again authentic there there are two different authentication options that is basic and uh, auth2 we will go with basic that's fine and uh, here receiver is suppose we want to send to same user here that is prod test that's fine and uh, we are not attaching here desktop file already we have seen how it's working and also we will go with the HTML type of text so here in HTML what we see that if we are sending with uh, this type of uh, th this type of options proper HTML uh, HTML to change color or text UI then also it will it will work so here we are adding HTML body or message so that's fine so HTML body here I we have added and also we'll have to close so we are closing here body and slash HTML. so this is an HTML content and we are trying to send mail in the message message so yes so now if you'll send a mail then we should receive here in our prod test user so this is my prod test user and we are trying to send mail here we should receive so let's run our bot our bot and successfully and let's verify whether we have received or not yes we have received here our mail and uh, as per uh, as per HTML text here we are able to change color and background of text and whatever the HTML text works in HTML page same will work and we can create a UI as per our requirement in our mail that's fine and here we will go for the last option which is outlook client here that's fine and if you see for outlook client there is no need to provide any information for connection de connection details that's fine and we will send mail here so here if you see in my locally installed outlook and here i have user outlook user so my default user is outlook user 0910.gmail.com in my outlook client so it will send mail to other 
uh, other mate receivers so suppose i want to send to we deserve all at the rate gmail or yahoo.com as a in two and for bcc i am using as gmail that's fine and uh, here outlook line send mail demo that's fine no other information is required here so if i am running this bot then what it will do it will use this user outlook user as a sender and two other mail uh, mail accounts that is we deserve all at the red yahoo.com and we deserve all at the red gmail.com will receive mail so let's run this part so our board started running and it's completed successfully that's fine so we should be able to send mail successfully so let's verify one by one so here sender is fine it should send to first to gmail so we'll come to gmail account we deserve all at the rate gmail user account and here we can see that uh, outlook user has sent mail and with ui and in the same way, if we'll come here in our yahoo we deserve all at the rate yahoo account here also we have received mail so that's fine so if you so we have verified that we are able to send mail for different users that is email server outlook line and also ews type of server that's fine and just for information that if you are using gmail or yahoo type of uh, yahoo account then in that case you have to provide password so for yahoo you have to provide password app password only and normal password will not work and in case of gmail account if you are if you have enabled two step verifications then you have to provide create and provide app password otherwise your normal gmail account password will work fine and uh, to create app password already video is in this channel you can use it so if this video is useful please hit like and subscribe button thanks for watching